Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm here at Honeymoon Beach State Park, and I'm excited to tell you, a few feet from me here is a diamondback rattlesnake. It's fantastic and it's beautiful. This episode is gonna be about this diamondback rattlesnake that we encountered on a, the Osprey Trail here at Honeymoon Beach State Park. Right here in your backyard. You never know what you're going to find. This rattlesnake is believed to be one of the largest in the United States, and it's considered to be the most venomous. My data suggests that this snake has a 30% mortality after bite, so it's a very, very toxic snake. But you can see that it's not very aggressive at all. We've had a group of people, and there's some people uh, walking up right now that want to take a look at him. But I always want to remind people, it is highly venomous. It is very toxic. It is believed to be one of the most toxic rattlesnakes in America. So always use caution if you see one. This snake is part of the ecology of this island that is dictated by the keystone species, that's the gopher tortoise, that creates burrows six feet deep, up to 40 feet long, that over 300 species of animals use. And one of the species that uses this is this diamondback rattlesnake. So this is a slash pine cabbage palm forest that in an ecosystem that's based on, on uh, frequent fires. And the gopher tortoises provide that refuge for fire for all these species. Without the gopher tortoise, this eastern diamondback probably wouldn't be here. And it is just a really beautiful snake. I feel so fortunate to find this. I was hoping I would find that. And here it is. I believe I mentioned that this is the largest venomous snake in North America. But how large can it actually be? A specimen collected in 1947 was nearly 8 feet long and weighed 34 pounds. Can you imagine a 34 pound rattlesnake? That's really impressive. The actual average size of these snakes, of course, is much less. But they are really big snakes. How do you know an eastern diamondback when you see him? Well, obviously, it's these very distinct diamonds on its back. And it's very, very, very clear. And this is, a, I think, just a particularly beautiful snake. The markings are just exquisite. This snake is currently under review by the Fish and Wildlife Administration to be a candidate for the endangered species list. Locally, it seems to be abundant, but throughout its range, it's decreasing. It's often very difficult to get a good estimation of a population, especially across various states and different habitats. And determining the population of diamondback rattlesnakes is no exception to that rule. It's pretty hard to track it. The recent study I saw suggested that the population of diamondback rattlesnakes might be 3% of what it once was. Why is that? Certainly habitat destruction is one, but sort of random killing of them is going to be a, another factor. So many diamondback rattlesnakes are killed, of course. Some of that is uh, in roundups as well, which is done for both entertainment and exhibition. And a very interesting fact about the rattlesnakes here on these islands is they are often seen swimming in the water and they will swim sometimes a mile between islands. They've been seen out in the, in the bays up to a mile from land swimming from one island to another. So they're really, really good swimmers, which I found very surprising and very fascinating. So of course, for me, I was thrilled to see the Eastern Diamondback here on its native habitat. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. And if you like my channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.